Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to navigate Alex during OpenPy where all the lock symbols disappear. This will help you fill in previously assigned topics and also work ahead to future due material. So when you first log into Alex, you'll see a normal screen like this. And then there should be a button off to the side explaining like you should just start your path. And then it will also list any future due assignments. By default, Alex is going to have you start working on whatever is next due. So whatever objective that's incomplete, that's the next objective you have to do. That's what Alex is going to try to make you do because it's always better to work ahead according to Alex. So when you click that, you're taken into the first topic in the next due objective. Now, you don't have to do this particular topic. You can change which topic you're working on. And in order to change which topic you're working on, you first click this down arrow here, and that's going to drop down this tray that lists all the topics in this next objective that are yet to be learned. Now, in this particular objective, I only have one topic left to learn. Now, I still don't have to do this topic. I can select a different objective to work on. So I can click up here where it has the objective title, and that's going to drop down another menu that allows me to navigate backwards to any past due objective or navigate to any future due objective of my choice. Now, when this is when we're in OpenPy. If we're not in OpenPy and we're, we're currently working on an objective that's due soon, then there's going to be lock symbols on all of these different objective titles because Alex is trying to get you to focus your effort on the current due objective so that you maximize your grade in the class. But as soon as you finish that current due objective, all the lock symbols are going to disappear and then you can navigate backwards or you can navigate forwards. Now, anytime you finish an objective, you should go back and look to see if there's any topics in past due objectives that you're missing. Because if you take a knowledge check or if you just didn't finish one of those objectives, then Alex is going to try to bring those forward to a future due objective. And if you're always going back and checking to see if there are any holes and filling in those holes, then like when you get to the future due objectives, those topics won't even show up then. And so like it's better that way. Um, you're only working on the objectives that were actually assigned to you on that particular day, the ones that count towards your grade. Um, filling in past due topics does count towards your high progress. And so at the end of the semester, you want to have all the topics learned. So if you're constantly going back and checking to see if there's anything that's missing, then your job, your life will be a lot easier going forward. So just to show you, if I scroll down, I'm all the lock symbols are gone. And so I can scroll to a future due objective and I have three different objectives that I can pick or three different topics. I can pick from here. There's also filters that you can put on. So if you know the name of a particular topic, you can go back and like search for that particular topic. You can also toggle into review mode. And there's also additional filters, like if there's videos available or additional resources available. So there's all these filters so that you can kind of narrow down what you're looking at. You can also enter into review mode by going to the review tab here, and you can switch back to topics that you need to learn in the learn menu. Reviewing topics does not count towards your pie progress, but it's a great way to study and prepare for an exam. I hope that helps you figure out how to navigate Alex so that you can work on past due material or future due material and really control what you are focusing your efforts on.